Are you looking for some awesome effects? Get access to thousands of exclusive premium effects, free effects as well, with their super affordable pro memberships. Click the link in the description. What's going on everyone? My name is Chris Kelly and I'm happy to be hosting this third episode of the intro to After Effects series on Alex's channel. Today we are gonna be creating this old school computer text glitch effect. It is pretty simple and pretty fun to build out. Let's start with some creepy text. We're watching you, that is pretty creepy. I'm going to align it to center and now let's center the anchor point so we can scale up from the center point of the text. I'm using this font called Salam Regular. This effect is always gonna look better with a blockier, old looking font. I need a noisy background, so hit Ctrl Y to create a new solid. A dark gray color works. Let's find our effects panel and type noise and drag that right onto the solid we created. We can bump up the noise to around 60%. I'll change the blending mode on the layer here to screen. If you don't see the blending mode options, go ahead and hit that toggle switch button down here. Toggle down the text arrow and the animate arrow. Select character value. Let's change the character range to full Unicode and the character value to something around 50. Toggle down range selector one and hit the stopwatch for the start and move forward about a second and now increase that start to 100%. Toggle down the advanced tab and hit the randomize order. All right, let's change this amount parameter to something like 80. Now our text spells out in random order from random characters. Let's go ahead and add an effect to the text. Find your effects panel again and let's type fast box blur and we're going to drop that onto our text element. Select horizontal and increase to 6. Go ahead and alt click the stopwatch. I think it's option click for Mac users. That lets us type what's called an expression. We'll get deeper into expressions later, but for now, we're just gonna use this most common expression, the wiggle expression. We're gonna type wiggle, open parentheses, 45, that number represents the, a number of wiggles in a second, and then we're gonna type two, that is the amount to be wiggled, and then close parentheses. This will change the blur amount every frame, adding to the glitchiness. All right, we gotta bring in some color. Create a new adjustment layer and add the tritone effect. Make the midtones a darkish green. And then let's add a glow effect. Mess with the threshold, radius, intensity parameters until you get the look you like. The text is looking a little too sharp to me. Let's copy paste the noise from the solid onto our text layer. All right, let's funk it up a little bit more. Create another solid and let's call this displacement. Add the fractal noise effect to it. Go to the first frame and let's hit the evolution stopwatch and then the last frame in our composition and let's crank up this number really high. Then let's add the mosaic effect. Change the block size to 20 by 20. We'll pre-compose this layer and move all attributes into the new comp. Let's go ahead and turn off the visibility by poking out the eye here. Create a new adjustment layer. I'll drag this adjustment layer right over my text layer. And then we could throw on a displacement map effect. Change the displacement layer to that pre-comp we just made and change the horizontal and vertical displacement to seven. Change those parameters to luminance. Let's all click the stopwatches and add another wiggle expression. 40 times a second, amount of 12 should do it. All right, we are almost done. Create a new adjustment layer, and let's use a preset from Adobe. Type in TV into your effects panel and select the Bad TV 3 Week. Let's drop that onto the new adjustment layer we created. Disable this wave warp effect because it's messing up the effect a little too much. Feel free to mess with these settings and you can disable the noise here if it's too much overall noise. And that is the effect, you are done. I did add another effect from footagecrate.com, the BHS Overlay 3 with an Add Blending Mode right over my text layer to add some additional animation. This effect is Pro. Production Crate Pro memberships are just $49 a year now. Alex actually has a link to it in the description, so check that out right now while the price is so affordable. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks, Alex, for having me host another one. If you have ideas for future tutorials, let us know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to Just Alex Halford's channel and subscribe to my channel, Production Crate for other VFX-related tutorials. 
Thanks everyone, and we'll see you next time.